What's up guys? Today we're going to be building a P90 pickup. So here's all the parts we're using. Uh, we've got some 42 gauge plain enamel wire. Uh, we've got our plastic bobbin. This will be a soap bar. So we got the soap bar cover and the base plate. Uh, if we were building a dog ear pickup, we would be using that cover and that base plate. And that's the only difference between soap bar and dog ear. Um, we've got our pull pieces and screws for attaching the base plate to the bobbin. Uh, we've got our spacer bar here, uh, two Alnico 3 bar magnets, and our lead wires. So the first thing I want to do is take some 400 grit sandpaper and just clean up all of the edges, make sure there's no places for the wire to get caught. This little eyelet is where the wires pass through. That'll be the bottom. Stick that on there. My spool goes on the ground by my feet. And I'm just gonna tape this wire to the winder like I did with the humbucker coils. And I'll just guide this slowly on here for about 10 turns to get this wire started. And I'm gonna use some flour on my fingers to keep them from getting sweaty and uh, just eyeballing the guides here last thing we did was a humbucker coil so this is actually pretty close a few turns of that and we'll take a look yeah, looks pretty dead on so we're just gonna get started winding this go up to full speed So we're gonna do 10,000 winds. That should be enough to fill up the coil. The coil. And uh, if I was doing a set, uh, this would be the bridge pickup. If I was doing a neck pickup, I would do 10% less. So about 9,000 turns. And uh, that just adds a little bit more clarity to the neck pickup. It's good to have the bridge a little hotter so they balance each other. Back in the 50s and 60s, uh, they didn't really balance, balance uh, neck and bridge pickups. Uh, they would just make them all the same. So neck and bridge would be 10,000 turns. And uh, it's always just nice to be able to balance the neck and bridge a little bit better. So typically bridge pickups are at least 10% hotter, if not more. Um, but this will be just like a vintage pickup. So I'm just holding the uh, tension on the wire so that it's, I can just feel it between my fingers. I'm just guiding it. I'm not pulling back at all. And uh, I'm going back and forth at a consistent rate, trying to put space between each consecutive wind because that'll lower capacitance and make a nice open sounding pickup. Every, you know, thousand, couple thousand turns, I'll take a look at it, make sure it's going on there consistently. We don't want a, lot, a bunch of wire in the middle, and we don't want a bunch of wire on the top and bottom of the bobbin. So I'm just trying to be consistent. But, you know, this is hand-guided. It's considered scatter-wound. I think the originals were wound on a machine, machine-guided. So they were a little bit more of a uniform wind. Uh, anything with the hand, using a hand motion, is going to be scatter wound. It's going to be random. Even if you're trying to do a very like meticulous winding pattern, this winder does about 900 turns per minute. So this pickup will take uh, a little over 10 minutes. And I'm winding this on the counterclockwise winding arm. If I was doing clockwise, I'd do it over here. 
sometimes I'll do the neck and bridge in a set uh, opposite winding, opposite polarity, so that they'll be hum canceling in the middle position when they're both on. Um, that's just kind of nice with P90s because the one drawback is you get a lot of noise. There's a lot of hum. But as far as the tone of the P90s, I mean, it's one of the best sounding pickups. You get the fatness of a humbucker and you also get like the twanginess of a single coil. And, you know, they can be really hard and driving for hard rock. They can also be good for jazz and blues. They're kind of open and woody sounding. Uh, they're just a really great all-around pickup. Um, yeah, really the only drawback is the 60 cycle hum. Just because it's a single coil. Uh, this is like the predecessor for the humbucker. 10,123 turns. So this one's going to be a little bit hot. It's got an extra 123 turns on there. So it's got something special. All right, just pull the bobbin off like this. Start has a little piece of tape on it so that I know which side to start. All right, we're gonna solder our pigtails on here. First thing we'll do is sand down this plain enamel wire a little bit with some 400 grit sandpaper. This is the only kind of wire that you need to do this with. All the other coatings will melt off with the soldering iron, but this will not, and you'll get a bad connection. All right, start has a piece of tape. So we'll wrap that around here. Trim off the extra. Once your soldering iron's heated up, just hold it on there a couple seconds and get some solder on there. Clean my tip. Hold it on the wire for a couple seconds to heat it up and the solder will just flow over that. I'll test the resistance. 8.5K, that's a good hot resistance for a P90. Next I'll tape these wires on. Easiest thing to do is just sort of, I, where I put some tape on the coil here, that's where my soldered joint is gonna go. And then I'll just put another piece of tape on top of that. So that like holds it in place the wire is going to go through this little notch. Same thing with this side. Take the whole thing. Now we've got our beeswax. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on the end of the uh, screw. And start screwing these into the top. That's actually creating threads in the plastic bobbin. And uh, I'm just gonna screw this in until it's just coming through the bottom. Having the beeswax on there makes this a lot easier. 
trying to thread these into plastic, dry plastic, as uh, I mean, you can actually break the screw. Put the keeper bar on the bottom now. Next, we're gonna solder our lead wire to our base plate. So I've got some of this braided wire unbraided here. And uh, this is the cloth covered center. That's your positive. Negative is the uh, braided outside. Sometimes it helps to scuff up where you're gonna solder with some sandpaper. Once this is tinned and there's solder on the base plate, you can just sort of melt them together. And that's just really nice because the wire is going to go through here. If it gets pulled on, which it will, it's not going to pull the leads off of the pickup. It's pretty well uh, situated there. Tin my positive. While I'm at it, I'm going to tin the pigtails. All right, it's time to put the bar magnets on. These are Alnico 3, you can tell by the green color. And um, we're gonna make this coil south up, so it'll be counterclockwise south up. That will mean that it'll be in phase with most humbuckers and other pickups. Um, some of these were made north up. You can't switch the phase here because this is ground and this is positive ground is attached to negative but you can switch the phase by going in and flipping over the bar magnets um, that's north that's south it's showing about 25 gauss that's good uh, you can get meters that are a little more accurate than this but um, for our purposes that's fine if this was uh, Alnico 5 magnets which they used after 1957 um, I would probably knock them down a little bit in magnetism. Um, the cool thing about Alnico 3, and these are both going to be facing south side facing the poles. The cool thing about Alnico 3 is that it already has that lower magnetism so you get more sustain, uh, less harshness with, with the highs, the highs sound nice and round, uh, and uh, it gives you a good bright sound to sort of offset this hot coil here. Um, it's not muddy at all, it's super clear. At this point we're going to attach our base plate. We got our little screws here, there's already some wax on these screws. Those are just going to go in like that. We'll finish turning in these pull pieces. Alright, that is done. The cover just goes on like that. Mounting screws go in here. This is not going to be wax potted because the early ones weren't wax potted and we're not going to wax pot this one. We could if we wanted to and we can always go back and do that later.
the P90 build. Uh, if you want to win this pickup that we just made, uh, just subscribe to the channel, uh, either thumbs up or thumbs down the video, and leave a comment saying who your favorite artist is who plays P90 pickups. And uh, you'll be entered to win this pickup. We'll uh, do a drawing on September 6th, 2019, and uh, we'll randomly pick a person to win this pickup. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching.